Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Back by popular, lore, popular, popular request, clay block videos. This one I thought would be interesting to bring out my personal everyday carries. I'll show you those up here in a second, but what are we comparing today? Well, it's the age old question, nine millimeter, 45 ACP, and then I threw in a wild card there because I carry it too. 357 sig normally when you compare the nine millimeter and the 45 acp the 357 sig boys jump in there and say mine's better because i got a 357 sig which uh maybe so maybe we'll find that out in this video but stay tuned let me go to the bench i'll show you my main two everyday carries and then i do carry 357 sig from time to time and uh we'll go from there slow motion on the clay blocks at the end of this video we will have hopefully a clear winner and we'll have a good slow motion visual clay comparison of all three of these and you can make your judgment based off of that but let me show you a close-up of these bow lights here this is the stuff that i carry and then i'll show you the bow light slingers then we'll get on the clay this is going to be a fun one all right so like i said guys this is the stuff that i keep loaded in my edcs we got the remington golden saber bonded in nine millimeter it's 147 grain that i carry in the 45 it's a 230 grain and in the 357 sig it is a 125 grain i'll kind of show you on the 45 there let me just pick it up what does it look like on the end there pretty cool make sure you're subscribed stay tuned we're going to try to catch some of these in another video real soon so we'll be able to get a visual of what these look like expanded but let me go over to the bench there and we'll see what kind of blue lot slingers that i carry these in all right guys so like i said this is the stuff that i actually carry when i carry nine millimeter it's a palmetto dagger, got the red dot on it, and I carry it inside the waistband C3 leather holsters. Awesome holster, that's what I carry a nine millimeter. Probably 30% of the time I'm carrying this, it's 15 plus one nine millimeter. More often than not, majority of the time, I'm carrying 45 ACP, which is loaded with this stuff. This is my global defense. 1911 just had to take this off my britches so i could show you my holster also a c3 leather holsters ostrich leg i carry this thing like i said more often than not i've got this on my hip outside the waistband awesome awesome and i'm a 1911 van i know a bunch of you guys are too and then if i'm not carrying one of those i'm carrying this which is not that often this is my Glock G31 in 357 SIG. For this, I just have a real simple inside the waistband, We the People holsters. Uh, that might actually fit in this holster, but very similar uh, size here. Yeah, probably could. Anyways, that's the stuff that I carry. And like I said, I carry everything with Remington Golden Saber Bonded. But that's not why you guys clicked on this video. You clicked on this video to watch all three of these smack on some clay. So let's get that ready and fling these blue lights. Then we'll know which is better. I kind of feel like the 357 SIG is gonna be the best show, but let's find out, see what happens. All right, first with the nine millimeter, I'm at five, six, seven yards or so. Try to get straight in line with it. We'll see what happens to the clay. Hmm. Very interesting. Let's go check it out. Definitely not what I expected to see, but 
that's what happened. We definitely got a dead center hit there. Big old nose like thing came back out the front. Notice the top bulged up, the sides bulged out. What does the back look like? Hmm, about the opposite uh, of the front there. So probably three fingers wide hole and it kind of hollowed out all of the insides there. But we'll set that one to the side, scratch nine millimeter in the top and let's go on to the 45. All right, now here's my 45 ACP 1911. Like I said, this is the one I'm carrying today. Do the same thing right in the center. Please try for it. Hmm, that thing pretty near jumped out the side, didn't it? Jumped out of the way. It knew the 45 was coming. Now, I know somebody's gonna say, oh, you didn't get a center hit. Eh, it was pretty center. Eh, it was slightly left, but it was pretty center. And unlike the nine millimeter, big hole in the front and a big hole in the back. We don't even have to go around the back to see what happened in the back because we can see the back from the front but uh yeah there's 45. all right now that 357 sig glock 31 same thing see what happens Hmm. That thing was different altogether. Let's look at that one. I don't even know what was the front or the back, but I'm gonna assume this is the front. This is kind of what I expected to happen. But from the nine millimeter, that's what we got. Now that would still uh, sting a bit, you think? Uh, but that might sting a little bit more. I could just about get my whole fist through there. Look at the sides how much more it bulged. And then compared to the side bulge of the 357 Sig. And uh, might as well come around to the back and show you a whole lot more deformed coming out the back. You can see 357 Sig compared to 45 compared to the nine millimeter. Now, I do have another block. That was pretty much dead center. Nine millimeter, 100% was dead center. Just for the 45 boys, I'm gonna take another fling. And uh, in case anybody's gonna complain in the comments that the 45 wasn't center enough. But let's do 45 version number two. All right, put my holster back on my hip. Got, got a beef strapped out here. Second try with the 45. See what happens. Maybe get a little bit more dead center this time than the last time. Oh yeah, a lot more dead center. Let's check it out. All right now, so definitely a lot more center. Let's put them up side by side over here and just see what happened. So, let's line them up here. 45, this was also 45, but a little bit on the side. So let's just line it all up here side by side. And you guys can be the judge 
on what you think did a better job. So, hmm, we got, nobody can uh, complain this time that we didn't get a dead center hit. First we had the nine millimeter, then in the center, that's 45 ACP, and then on the right, 357 SIG. Back it up so we can get them all in frame there. Nine millimeter, from this view, you might say that's weak sauce. 45, a little bit more buggy, but that 357C, man, just look at the left side wall. Nine millimeter barely bulged it. 45 bulged it a good bit, but that 357C really bulged it. Let's come around to the, to the side here and kind of look. What's it look like from this side? Well, eh, I don't know, you guys be the judge. And coming around the back here, what's the back look like? And does the size of the exit make a difference? I don't know, you guys be the judge. But from back here, I don't know, 357 SIG still looks a little more extreme than the 45 exit, especially more extreme than the nine millimeter exit. And something about the the 357, well, a lot of people argue, well, nine millimeter I like because I get twice as many. Well, there's a lot of 45s that you can still get 15 in them, so that don't really make the argument, but 357 SIG, you definitely can get just as many rounds as the nine millimeter for the most part, but there you go, guys. Let me know what you think. Let's come around to the front there, and remember, these are all the same loading that Remington golden saber bonded stuff and that's what i carry in all of mine hey guys that's the video comment down below what do you carry and which one would you pick out of all these there's going to be some goobers that is going to say 357 magnum or 10 millimeter but <laughs> you guys go on and comment what you what you want to comment down below but like i said these are what i carry more often than not the 45 acp and then secondly the nine millimeter and sometimes i do carry that 357 sig but hey appreciate y'all watching uh always appreciate y'all tuning in make sure you're subscribed check out all the links down below make sure you're going over there to hootiehoo.com and checking that site out as we add more to it. But hey, appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Hootie hoo! Load it up and get all the zoomies you can. Load it up and get all the zoomies you can. Load it up and get all the zoomies you can. Bye.